whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Alright, um, Timson TS45. First start with the cooling level. You see this cooling level right here? This is max full. So don't think that's low because if you look at it, it's right here. You cannot fill it up more than this anyway. So when it gets to this level, this is full. Um, if you need to add coolant in the Tempsis, any Tempsis, TS35, TS45, TS30, it don't matter what kind of Tempsis it is. There is another release cap right here on top. You slowly release this pressure from here. You don't have to take this all the way out. If you turn it like five turn and you see the pressure would come down to this hose and pressure relief, when you have the cap loose in there, then you could take this off because if you take that off with the pressure, you're going to get soaking wet and it's going to be dangerous. So, yes. Uh, this is the uh, cooling. Alternator one, alternator two, alternator belt, your water pump, uh, your AC compressor, and of course your fan uh, belt for your radiator. Power steering fluid. If you need to jump any buses, either Temsa or Van Hool, it don't matter. Usually you will see a red handle in the back of the bus. Van Hool have it. Tempsa's got it, it's 35, 45, they all have it. So you pull down on this and that would be your positive cable. Your negative cable either here, which it says ground, or somewhere around that area near this red handle, you would have a stud coming out. Your ground could be anywhere, but with because they're painted, you, go, you don't get a good contact, so that's why they Put that in here so uh, your ground your 24 volt do not attempt to jump this bus with 12 volts uh, with the car anything like that because you burn everything on the car not on this but the car is jumping this so make sure that's a 24 volt uh, jump when you're doing this um, if you're in the back of the bus, you're checking something or mechanic or whatever, for any reason you're in the back, you should push that. Or in, you're in the back and you see something is wrong and the belt or leaking or something going on, fire, I don't know. You just push and stops everything, okay? Then you cannot crank it in the front and you could do whatever. When you finish, you just get this and twist to the right and it pops out. You could crank it from the back, you could turn the lights in the back for the engine compartment. Um, the bathroom fill up. You fill it up in here, the level is right here. Usually I put it and hold it for probably two minutes and go in there flush it. Some of them they have a flush button right here, you could flush it. Uh, when you're draining your tank, you could flush once, so whatever is in the line would drain also. Um, so that's on that. That valve, this you see this valve right now is open. If they're 90 angle this way, they're closed. So make sure your valve is open. Uh, AC compressor we talked about. Your transmission dipstick is right here. And I recommend to check the transmission uh, fluid from the shifter pad by pushing up and down arrow twice, I, th I think once or twice. We can make another video on that, I just have to refresh my memory on that. So, engine oil. This with engine oil. Again, the bus has to be off, has to be cold, you get it, you wipe it, you don't even look at it. Then you test it again. Lock unlock then you look at the level you shouldn't see any line right here when you see it that means it's a little bit low this is your full level uh, right here don't look at this not right here it's you see that it says full you shouldn't see a full when you see it it's a little bit low um, Go to the dump in the bathroom. 
two tank system, fresh water tanks and waste tanks. This would be what you hold in and fresh water goes in here and that's the waste tank when you, you're on the road you need to dump it to get, you don't have a place to dump so you dump it in this, you fill it up again then you continue to use your toilets. Open this first, open that next, run your water, let it run through, close it, let it fill up halfway, then dump it again, then close it, watch your level. When you finish, the last thing you do, you come back and close this. The reason you close this last, if your valve is leaking, you don't assume everything is on the top. So you will see it in the bottom. So if the valve is open and this is closed and you fill it up, everything's supposed to be in the top tank. Your fuel filters, uh, your water separator and fuel filters, if you see anything in the glass area, milky looking, any junk, any uh, kind of stuff not supposed to be in there, that filter is supposed to be changed, notify somebody. Your spare fluids always on most buses on Atlantic limousine should be here. Fortunately, this one is leaking. But two DEF, two antifreeze, two O, and your five gallon water jug. Any questions? And that's it.